Hey y'all, she was seven. Okay, so I I made a video, but I don't know if I'm gonna put it out because it might make a lot of people upset because I I'm biased. Okay, I'm biased, and I had a request to do a video about um, how to attract the type of man you want or how to attract a financially stable man, and. There are lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that. Um, I don't know if y'all just want my opinion or my advice on how to do that. Uh, because I do have my own opinions. I do have my own advice. And they might, that advice might not be politically correct. But <laughs> it does work. And I have seen and taught another person how to do exactly what she needed to do to get or she wanted to be in life and it worked I um, I'll just tell you the story okay because I had already had the person that I was gonna marry so my I had a friend and she started hanging around me and she was dating loser after loser after loser after loser and she started hanging around me and she saw the type of man that I had and just by hanging out with me and, um, you know, being around me in different environments than she was used to, she started raising her standards in men. And she started getting men that were um, not losers, okay? And after she built her confidence up as far as, you know, being able to get a man who's not a loser, then she started aiming higher, then she started dating men with money, okay? Um, and she was very average looking. She wasn't she wasn't like a beauty queen or anything. She was just straight up average. She was a really pretty um, uh, average woman, you know. And she would her personality, the way she spoke, the things that she talked about, the subjects that she talked about, the places that we went to, and the type of man that she would only um, acknowledge had a lot to do with, you know, how to get the type of man that you want. So she, she started dating men with money, houses, cars, Hummers, you know, all of that. And... When I met her, she was basically living out of her car, couldn't afford to buy herself a drink at the bar or wherever we were hanging out. And that's just, you know, how I met her. And now, you know, she's married. She owns a cl she owns a bar. She's married to a wealthy guy. She has, uh, I don't know, the latest BMW um Louis Vuitton purses everywhere. She she, she passed me up, y'all. <laughs> but I'm happy for her because I did not want to see her um, end up, or I didn't want to see her continue on the path that she was on when I met her and end up like, you know, most women, a lot of women who date losers end up. So um, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put out the video. But I just wanted to tell y'all this first. So don't get mad at me. It is politically incorrect, some of it. You know, there are people that you have to stay away from if you uh, if you want certain things in life. There are people that you do have to say, you know what? You're a nice person. I love you as a human being, but um, we're not going to make it. <laughs> and... If you think about it like the old school, not the old school recently, but the old days, when people married and when they, when they got together, they looked at more than looks. They looked at more than um, sex. They looked at their family um, to come, generations to come. They looked at if me and you get together, what type of generations are going to come after us? You know, they looked at the future future. Okay, and that's what we need to be looking at. We don't need to be looking at um, right now and what what feels good and what looks good. We need to be looking at, are our kids going to be able to go to college? 
Are their kids going to be able to go to college? You know, am I going to have a car, you know, when I'm 50 years old? Or I'm going to be living off of Social Security in the ghetto? You know, you have to ask these questions. You have to look at your potential partner and ask yourself, where is he going to be in five years? And if the answer is not where you want to be, then you need to leave him alone right then and there. And I know a lot of women get this, like, motherly mentality saying, oh, well, I can help him get there. If you have to help somebody get somewhere as a female, who's going to help you? You know, you're not that person's mother. They should already be going there, on their way there, almost there before you even touch them. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all can disagree all you want, but it's, it's the truth. And then we'll have those examples. Yes, we will have those examples of those women and those men who have struggled together to overcome and make it and just want to tell their testimony and blah, 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 blah. And that's fine. That was what they wanted. A lot of women don't want to struggle. A lot of men don't want to struggle with a woman. They would rather struggle alone, make it, and then go get the woman they actually want. Because a lot of times, men will get with a woman. They will struggle together. And that's not the woman that he really wanted. That's just the woman who would tolerate him at the time. This is why a lot of women get cheated on. Because some men, they will take a woman because they can't get any the, the woman they really want. And that woman will st- sit there and struggle with them and, and um, break her back to, um, you know, bring in the money. And as soon as he gets a little money or starts doing better, he's going to start looking at the women that he really does like or really does want. And it's going to be like, you're like the woman who broke her back and sacrificed is going to be like, I did all this and you still cheat on me. Yeah, because the type of woman that he really wants is not the type of woman that is going to struggle on ground level. It's not, it's not true. Think about it. Every rapper, every celebrity, not every, not all of them, not, it's never all of them, but most of them, a good number of them, usually dumps that day one chick for something better that they really want. And it's not because, it's because they can have it now. Do you understand? It's because that's what they really wanted in the first place, but they just couldn't get it. So they settled. So if you want to be with a man who settled for you, instead of a man's prize, that's your problem. But as a woman, as a woman, you should be the prize of the man. You know, you should be something that they want not something that they'll take but something that they want something that they they desire okay if you want a man who of means that will financially support you they have to want you in every way not just one way but every way so if you're you know women are very guilty of this thinking that they can change a man and I say, don't try to change a man. Get a man who can change himself. Get a man with potential to change himself. Get a man who's on his way. Okay, don't don't try to... You can't thrift shop for men, okay? You got to get a man who... <laughs> you got to get a man who's either this or that. Now, there's a lot of women that are single... Because they don't want to settle. They refuse to settle. And a lot of these women are actually better off being single financially. Because they're not taking on a burden of a man who's going to drag them down. Okay? So, I mean, and women, just because you're single doesn't mean that you're, like, uh, not getting any action or dates or anything being single means you're just not married or in a committed relationship um you can have a date every day of the night and still be single 
you know. You can you can go out on trips and still be single. What I'm saying is you should never lower your standards just to get a man. Always keep your standards high. And I'm going to put this video out on um, how to attract certain type of men. Then I'm going to do a part two as well after that one. Because this, this is like, there's levels to this. <laughs> and look, I know I'm looking crazy right now, but I'm, I'm at home. You know, I'm married. I've been married forever. I've been the same person 14 years. I did not look like this when we met y'all. <laughs> let, let's just say he don't look like he used to look either, y'all. Time. But anyway. The, the point is, the point is, if I wouldn't have raised my standards in my 20s, I would not be where I am. I would not be living in um, a, a house. I would not have the car that I have. I would, my children wouldn't be able to go to school that they are going to. And I don't know what the heck my life would be like if I had not raised my standards. So, ladies, raise your standards and don't care what other people think because it's your life. They don't have to live it. All right, y'all. Look for the video.